So you are ready to hack this website. You launch Nmap into a basic TCP scan to learn a few things about it. But do you know that this website's server also learned a few things about you, as every scan you sent had your public IP address. That's why you should be using proxy chains. And in this video I'm going to tell you what they are, and how to set them up with Tor to anonymize your traffic. So let's start. Okay, so before I tell you what proxy chains are, you need to get an understanding of what proxies are. So with proxies, instead of sending all of our scans to this website from our IP address, we can use a proxy server in between, which will send our scans for us. And so now if the website's server does flag our scans to notify the website's owner, you'll see the IP address of the proxy server, and not ours. Now we have to be careful here, because what could happen is that this website's owner can tell the police that someone is attacking my website. And then the federals upon investigation can see the IP address of the proxy server and go. Yeah, this is a proxy server. We're gonna contact the server owners and find out who attacked you. And now the proxy server will have logs, and upon going through those logs, they can tell the police that it was this guy over here. So what do we do? Well, we have two options. The first option is that we can go ahead and use more than one proxy server. So instead of sending all of our scans just through this one proxy server, we're gonna send it through multiple proxies. And this is what proxy chains are, as we are chaining together multiple proxy servers to hide ourselves. Now you can find most of these proxy servers online for free, but they are usually not trustworthy and stable as we don't own them. So here comes the second and recommended option, which is using Tor with proxy chains to hide our identity, as Tor is more stable and there are multiple proxies involved, which makes it hard to track down our location. So let's start and see how we can set up and use proxy chains with Tor. Okay, so the first step is to configure proxy chains according to our needs. And to configure it, load up its configuration file by typing sudo space the text editor you want to use. I'll be using nano, and then type in the location of the proxy chains configuration file, which is forward slash, etc. forward slash proxy chains 4.conf. Now your configuration file might be stored somewhere else, but you can use the locate command if you want help in finding it. But anyways, hit enter, and you'll see the proxy chains configuration file opened in your text editor like this. Now there are four main modes we run this in. The first one is dynamic chain, the second one is strict chain, the third one is a round robin chain, and the fourth one is a random chain. Now as we will be using proxy chains with Tor, it really doesn't matter what mode we're using as we'll be having only one IP address. But just for your understanding, if you were using more than one proxy servers, the dynamic chain here would chain each of the proxies in your list, in the exact same order you put them in. And if one of them is out of service and not responding, it will simply skip that proxy and move to the next one. Whereas the strict chain will not skip to the next proxy and will end the connection. The random chain will just randomly choose a proxy to use. And to enable a mode, you can just uncomment it out by removing the hashtag sign here. So for example, if I want to enable the dynamic chain here, I can just uncomment it out like this, and then comment out the strict chain by putting a hashtag sign here. And so now the dynamic mode is configured for us to use. But as I mentioned earlier, as we are going to be using Tor, it really doesn't matter which mode we're using, so you can just leave it on the default mode if you want. Next, make sure that this option of proxy DNS is uncommented, as is it hides our DNS requests, preventing our location from being revealed through DNS leaks. And under the proxy lists heading, is where we have the default configuration already set to Tor, which is basically our loopback address, binded with the onion port of 9050. Now if we were not using Tor, this is also where we'll be adding the list of our proxy servers. You can see the examples of how to put them right here. Anyway, here what I want you to do is also add a SOX5 proxy, with same address and port like this, as SOX5 has a little bit of improvements. Now if you're wondering what is the difference between these types of proxies, then that is a topic for another video. But for now, just know that SOX5 is better than SOX4, and HTTPS is mostly better than HTTP. Anyway, next just save the file and exit. Okay so now before we go ahead and start using proxy chains, first we need to start the Tor service. Now if you don't already have Tor installed, type in sudo apt install Tor to install it. But once installed and ready to be used, you can type in sudo service Tor start to start the Tor service. And then type in service Tor status to confirm if it is actually running. And yes, as you can see it says active here, which means it is up and running, and now we are good to use proxy chains. Okay so to use proxy chains, simply type proxy chains in the terminal like this, and then we basically type in any other command that we want to use with it. For example if I want to run Firefox, I can simply type in Firefox right here, and then hit enter to run it. Now let's head over to dnsleaktest.com real quick, to verify if our connection with Tor has been successfully established, and yes, as you can see the connection seems to be up and good to go, as I can verify that I'm not in this place right now. And there you go, now you can go ahead and scan that website anonymously, by adding proxy chains before your nmap command, and hitting enter to redirect all your traffic through Tor. If you have any questions regarding the video, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below and I will see you in the next one.